Now then, I thought this video could do with a brief introduction. So, I did a video about building some 60 amp hour lithium iron phosphate batteries from reclaimed cells quite a while ago now that uh, Owen from the Boots Owen channel had recycled yeah and brought them down which is great he'd retrieved them he'd saved them from being crushed which is uh, the name of the game isn't it anyway so I built these batteries and I added uh, some JBD um, BMS's to it and those BMS's had got Bluetooth or a Bluetooth facility so there you go we're getting there yeah anyway Lee came to see me recently and uh, I encouraged him to download a BMS what do they call it now it's a program it's an app it's whatever you're gonna call it yeah and uh, uh, I encouraged him to download Overkill Solar onto his smartphone. Now Sim6 uh, recommended this on the video I was talking about, the build video. Yeah, so that's where we're at. Yeah, so Lee's with me in the video, and we're looking at um, the all the data from each of the BMSs and seeing what we can adjust. Um, the what we did adjust one, which is at the point where the the um, balancing starts, because the balancing on those uh, on those BMSs is only a hundred milliamps. So if you're charging at lots, fine. But a lot of the time, you don't. We, what we did was we adjusted the voltage down so that you get more of a balanced charge. Anyway, see what you think and here's the rest of the video. Now then, this is a bit of a make it up as you go along video. Yeah. Do you remember when I made these 15S 60 amp hour lithium phosphate batteries? And if you didn't, I'll put a link up slightly later on to when I put those together. But my friend Lee is here. Now, we put in the BMSs of the JBD BMSs. They're not the most expensive one. They're not a smart one. Anything like this. But Lee has is helping me out here and he downloaded loaded overkill solar BMS software onto his smartphone and we've been looking at it yeah so because we've got two of these it took a little while to decide which one was which on his smartphone what were the name of those numbers uh, Mac numbers. The Mac numbers. So we found the Mac numbers yeah, and identified which was which and we identified that by um, the temperature sensors. I stuck my thumb on one of the temperature sensors and the temperature went up on his mobile phone, on his smartphone. So there you go. So w w we identified that interesting in fact let's have a look at this this screen if we can yeah so we're going to try and move things around so you're just going to have to put up with what's going on so there are the two bms's wonderful eh and you can see that they're blinking away so they're working so do you want to go into one of them uh, lee okay there we go and there's just shed loads of information there's all the individual cell voltages there's the temperature sensors and we keep going down 
Yeah, I wish somebody had shown me this before. Yeah, so you can reset a lot of this stuff. And I was interested in the the, uh, the cell voltage where the balance charging starts. Yeah. Now, where where did we get to that, Lee? Settings. Can you see? Can you do that again? Yep. It's Let me just, just reading zoom. reading the data. Reading the data. Okay. Good. Oh, there we go. Yeah. This is all on Bluetooth. Yeah. So this is the actual settings. Yeah. And then somewhere down here. Balance configuration. Hang on, let me find where your finger is. Where are we? I'm losing you. There we go. Start voltage. Now, 3.3 volts per cell equals something like 49 point, well, 49.9 volts. And I would like it to start balancing earlier than that. I'd like to start balancing when the uh, when the charge is maybe I don't know 49 volts or something like that yeah so I think we need to, to, to change that so that as it's charging up it doesn't have to be fully fully charged before the balancing starts because the balancing on these ones are only a hundred milliamps so you need to have it working more of the time, I feel. What do you think, Lee? Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, so let's change that 3.3 3 to... Um, uh, 3.26... So that's 3.26... Oh, Hang on, I'm losing you on the screen a bit. Sorry. Where are we? Where's your thumb? All right. Yeah, and where have you changed it? There we go. Let me have a look. Oh, it won't focus. Hang on. Let me just... We need to get a bit closer. There we go. So we've changed it to 3.26. 3, 3 mm. So it doesn't have to be nearly fully charged before it starts balancing. And Lee has just ticked a little box there. And then up there, does that say... It says BMS right. So that would send the data, we yeah, think. let's do it. OK. I think it's marvellous to be just making it up. As... Now that changed colour. What did it change colour from and from to? Uh, so when it had information to send, yeah. the BMS right background flashed yellow. Right. Normally it just sits as a black background with a yellow icon on it. And once it's sent, it goes back to the standard black background with the yellow icon. OK. OK, marvellous. So I think it, the balancing will work more now. Yes. Especially with a battery that you're, ask, uh, you're treating as a buffer. So very rarely, especially for half of the year, around from, say, October through to March... They're never going to be really fully charged mm. a lot of the time mm. unless you're charging off the mains. So therefore what we're doing is saying start balancing a bit earlier so that we will keep all the cells balanced. Yeah, but this is overkill solar. There's shed loads of information there, isn't there? Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. And then at the bottom you've got the... Hang on. Here you go. Uh, the NTCs, so they're the temperature sensors. Temperature, uh, what is it? Negative temperature coefficient sensors. Right. And you you fixed your um, your air source heat pump with yes. one of those. Yes. And we'll put a link to that video as well because that that cost you what three quid or something to I, fix it. Yeah, it was. I think it was twelve pounds for four, and one of the four fixed the fixed the problem. So it was three pounds to fix it. Really. So in other words, what you mean? You bought four different ones of a different scale, different values, different yeah. values. Ten kilo ohms, twenty kilo ohms, fifty kilo ohms, 
and I can't remember the other one. <laughs> right, and you found the right one because yeah. no, nobody, all the all the the engineers went. Oh, you need to buy a new system. Yeah, they they wanted to sell a new heat pump. Yeah, we're not having any of that, are we? No. This channel is all about sort of down home fixing, and that was the perfect example of trial and error. Yeah. 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 A bit of knowledge because you had a fault code, didn't you? Yes. Yeah, which is perfect. Is there anything else you think we should see on this, or should um, we go and look at the other one? We can look at the other one. Yeah, uh, let's do it all again. So I go to devices, and it pulls up the two devices in Hang range. Yeah, okay. Yeah, which one did we change? So it seems that once once you've been into one, uh, it, yeah. it toggles the positions. So it put the one that you've been into, it seems to put at the bottom of the list. Right. So this one is, is the one... That we haven't been into. Yeah, okay. Now we're going to go steady on this because we're going to try and go through it all. So there we've got all the cell voltages and actually they vary from 3.28, 3.26, 3.29. Is that a 6 or is that an 8? Uh, uh, you've got 3.290, 3.291, 3.293, 3.288. 3.289, uh, 0.87, so they're, reasonably 8, well balanced. they're very well balanced, I'd yeah. say, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's doing well. Yeah. Yeah. And cost the, uh, these are a mixture of cells, some of the Porsche ones, but there are three of the um, BMW cells in each one, mm. each pack. So now let's go to where we were going to go to somewhere wherever it was. To change the settings. Yeah. So into settings. Down the bottom there. Yeah. yeah. So it's just reading the data on Bluetooth. Now Owen, we all know Owen from Boot Sewing Channel, he gave me a smartphone about a year ago. I think I'm actually going to have to start using it. Which is a bit scary. So uh, there's the 15 cells. There's the 15 cells. And then there is the section on balance configuration. Yeah. And because we haven't changed this one, it's nope. got the original figure on it. Yeah, so let's change that. So you just touch that, do you? Yep, yeah, just touch it and then delete part of the number. Yeah. Uh, 3260, I think it was. Yeah. 260. Yeah. And then you touch tick. Tick. And then the BMS right icon will start flashing yellow yeah and that says that you've got data to send right which you, you see haven't. that looks green to me does it yeah okay it's this color blindness it's it's ah. getting worse it's driving me insane ah. red green um leds you know anybody the person who uh, who um invented that i need to talk to very seriously <laughs> yeah they they'll have their ears pinned back <laughs> right crack on okay send that Brilliant. And that's it done. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Yeah, just I'm gonna have to engage the t Do you know there's a point where you go, I can't not do this. Hmm. It's like buying an inverter. When I bought the uh, the um Victron all those years ago, what was it, two thousand and five or two thousand and four, there was a point where you just have to move forward and I think the smartphone is goes against the grain you know <laughs> but then they're all gonna they're gonna be starting to switch off what was it three whatever it's called 3g 3g i mean what yeah yeah so they're gonna switch it so uh, <laughs> <laughs> right brilliant comments please and thanks to lee for his um cooperation and putting up with me and thanks to owen for um <clears throat> sharing the batteries with me and um, we'll catch up with you soon. Cheers for now.